Hello scholars, welcome to lesson 4.05. Now that we've learned about all the key features of trig functions, we're going to go ahead and try writing the equation of trig function given graph. Here are the steps involved. Let's dive right in. First, we should decide between which standard form of trig function we should use. So we need to first decide whether it's a positive or negative function and whether it's a cosine or sine function. So you just have to memorize this, okay? Uh, we need to check the y-intercept. When we check the y-intercept, y-intercept is right here. It's where the graph intersects with the y-axis. And if you notice, that point right here is the minimum of this trig function. So this is the maximum, this is the middle, and this is the minimum. So since the y-intercept is at the minimum, let's go ahead and check it out, negative cosine starts at minimum. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and fill out the y-intercept is at minimum. And of... Uh, well, we don't really care if it's increasing or decreasing, if it is either at maximum or minimum. So I'm going to go ahead, it doesn't matter, not applicable, which means this is a, we just said it's going to be a negative cosine function. Now let's go ahead and calculate the midline. For finding midline, we need to take the maximum plus minimum and then divide it by two. So let me go ahead and use my calculator. Maximum is four. Minimum is zero, so four plus zero is four. And then I'm going to go ahead and divide it by two, which gives me two. So midline is two. Now let's take a look at amplitude. To find amplitude, we need to take the maximum and then subtract minimum from it, divide by two. So I'm just gonna go ahead and simply change that to minus and we get two. The frequency is, now this is the trickiest part, right? The frequency cannot be found looking at the graph. So we're gonna go ahead and use period. So to find period, we start at Y, intercept, trace the graph until I return back to the same position, same direction, which is right here. So I have, let me go ahead and just annotate. Uh, this is my period. We're gonna use a BP equals two pi. Substitute P period, so B times, okay, that is two, okay. All over three. So then now we're going to divide both sides by 2 pi over 3. Now remember, we I usually suggest that we keep the pi out. But if you notice, I have pi on the left side and then pi on the right side of the equation. So we can just go ahead and use our delta math calculator. So I'm going to type in 2 pi, divide by 2 pi over 3. And guess what? We have a nice clean number three. So the frequency is three. And actually, I know I said we cannot find frequency from the graph, but actually, really, you could technically. You could if you use the definition. Um, but sometimes you cannot uh, find it, okay? So that's why I say you cannot find it. And it's just easier to find the period and then calculate the frequency using BP equals two pi. But by definition, frequency means numbers of cycles completed over 0, 0,2 pi interval. So interval, remember, is x values. So I'm actually, I can count how many cycles I've completed from 0 to 2 pi. So watch me. I'm going to trace. I've completed one cycle, two cycles, three cycles. So it does make sense, right? Notice how mathematically it works out and then the graph actually verifies it. All right, so then now it's time for us to put all the pieces together. So the equation of the function, we're going to go ahead and start with y equals. And let's go back to the beginning, right? 
we had to we have to decide positive or negative cosine or sine and we did say it's going to be a negative cosine of now the b is three and then here hold on amplitude has to do with a so amplitude is two but remember it's going to go between the negative sign and the cosine okay that's what's tricky about amplitude amplitude is not the a value amplitude is the absolute value of the a value all right, I'm gonna put the X, close parentheses, and then my midline, which is two. So here we go. Done. Go ahead and try the next problem by yourself, okay? Using the steps as guidance and also your note packet. 